Hello everyone, my name is Basket Locker Ball and welcome to the video. More importantly, welcome to another food challenge, folks. Quite some time ago, a loyal subscriber, someone I went to high school with, believe it or not, commented asking if I would do a Chinese food challenge. That's just what we're going to do tonight. I'm also happy to say I'm going to be supporting a local restaurant with tonight's food challenge, which I encourage all of you to do if you are able Go to your local restaurants, order some takeout, help support them during these times. All right, I'm gonna put the entire Chinese food order on the screen right here for you guys to look at. With that being said, guys, I'm ready to eat some Chinese food. Hopefully you guys are excited. Here we go. All right, guys, and we got the huge, massive bag of Chinese takeout right here this is a ridiculous amount of food i think i ordered too much food for this one 135 dollars worth of chinese food well let's unwrap everything and get it all presentable oh look at the size of this container i've never seen a chinese food box container this size oh my goodness oh my goodness guys it's so much chinese food oh look at this Okay guys, and we got all the delicious Chinese food laid out right here. I think this time I ordered way too much food. This seems like a lot too much food, even for me. Now because all this food is takeout, I have no idea whatsoever how many calories are in all of this, but when I estimate all the stats, I'll put those on the screen right about here for you guys. I think this is too much food for me. but. We'll see, it's gonna be a lot of sodium though, I'm sure. I don't have my Diet a &W today, but I have green cola. Now this is a brand new item. I believe it's specific to my local grocery store, Market Basket. No sugar, no calories, no artificial street, no artificial sweeteners, excuse me. And they use stevia leaf extract. All right guys, I think the time has come. My friends, my fans, my family, this is the Chinese food takeout challenge. I'm hungry, I'm happy, let's eat. Start a timer for fun, I have no idea how long this is going to take me, if I even finish it. Why don't we start with some appetizers here, so, alright, I think this is a crab rangoon, cheers. Oh, that cream cheese and the crab rangoon. Excellent. All right, now let's do chicken finger. Crab rangoons just have that beautiful combination of soft, creamy center, crispy exterior. Love it. some boneless spare ribs here. All right, that's it for the boneless spare ribs. Now let's do some of these chicken wings. Man, 
that one was really connected. All right, guys, let's for the chicken wings. Those are some really big chicken wings. I don't know where they get their chickens from. Wow, what are they feeding those things? Okay, let's do, I don't know what this is, some kind of beef skewer or something. Beef teriyaki. Final item of the poo poo platter. We got two egg rolls. Now look at the size of these egg rolls, dude. Like those are massive. Ooh, okay, let's do it. Oh yeah, they pack it in there. Mm. That green cola is good. Kind of tastes like Diet Coke. All right, let's break into our sauces here what this black sauce is. Let's try it. Kind of tastes like a thick soy sauce. There's a lot of sodium in that though. I can totally taste it. Ooh. guys poo poo platter is done okay next why don't we do beef with chinese broccoli i think that's what it's supposed to be and no i do not know how to use chopsticks but we got a fork guys that's it for the beef and Chinese broccoli Whew, that broccoli was very crispy and very crunchy all right next let's do the Kung Pao shrimp so I believe this is supposed to be spicy let's try it oh yeah that definitely has a slight kick to it I like it yeah, in here we definitely have shrimp, carrots, celery, some kind of nuts. I think it's walnuts, green peppers, red peppers, and mushrooms. All right, guys, Kung Pao shrimp is done. I love the shrimp in there, but I felt like there was a few too many vegetables. Next, let's do our Mapo tofu. Now, I've never had tofu before, and they said this one's supposed to be spicy. That tastes very weird. It has a very weird texture. We're just gonna put that one off to the side for now. We might get back to it, we'll see. Wonton soup. You can see the beautiful dumpling there. That's it for our wonton soup. There's still some liquid in there, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I got enough food as it is. Yeah, the wontons in there were excellent. Ooh, very soft, a lot of flavor. All right, now let's try some of the mushi here, which I'm not entirely sure how this is supposed to work. So I think this is what you use it for, I think. So I'm just gonna kind of pile some stuff onto there. And wow, this is still quite hot. And then just kind of make a taco, I guess. I have no idea if I'm doing this right.
that we're a little overzealous with the bean sprouts in this one. Okay, so for the mushi, I love the taste of these little pancake things, whatever they are, but vegetable part of it, all I taste is bean sprouts, literally. Like, that's, I can't taste anything else. Like, so many bean sprouts in this one. Oh, let's do one more of these, and then I gotta move on to something else. Like, I'm just tired of bean sprouts right now. Third mushi taco. Move that to the side. Now let's try out our lo mein. Delicious noodles. I'm gonna cut these noodles a little, I'm sorry. So, in this lo mein, they have shrimp and chicken. The chicken, I have to say, is absolutely fantastic. I'm starting to struggle a little bit, actually, which is surprising, but I'm still all right. We'll keep going. I can tell you guys right now, no way I'm gonna finish all of this. No way. Yeah, I definitely bit off more than I can chew on this one, I have to say. I really gotta go to the bathroom. I'm sorry, I gotta go. I'm gonna leave everything set up. I'll keep the timer running. I'm gonna take care of my business, wash my hands thoroughly afterwards. Stay tuned. All right, guys, and we are back. Ready to continue, and it felt good to move around a bit. All right, so for the lo mein, ooh, the shrimp and chicken in that was good, but a little tired of pasta right now. Oh, all right, next, why don't we try out our one of our huge platters of fried rice. This is the chicken and pineapple fried rice. Oh, those pineapples, though. Excellent. Oh, all right. Mix things up a bit here. Let's move on to my favorite Chinese food dish, General Gao's Chicken. Beautiful pieces of spicy chicken. Oh, that's so good. If I can finish this, oh, I don't know. Whoa. All right, guys, I am done with the Chinese food. Oh, I'm sorry, I just can't do any more. I'm gonna stop the timer. 58 minutes, 34 seconds. Oh, and I love this dish. It's delicious, fantastic, so good. I just cannot eat any more Chinese food. So this, I have to say, is an absolutely epic fail. I have a huge amount of food left. I basically have four whole dishes that I didn't even touch, essentially. I'll put the stats of everything that I did eat so far. I'll put that right about here for you guys. Oh. And then I'm going to box all this food up, save it for another day, and I think I have to have some dessert.
I did some calculations and it turns out I ordered over 15 pounds of Chinese takeout. <laughs> I can't believe it was actually that much. That's way too much food for me. Next, Swedish cookie dough. Oh, yes. Oh, sweetness is just incredible at this moment. One pint down. And now let's do half of the Reese's Big Cup. I do love a good Reese's. Just look at the size of that. Oh, beautiful. Alright guys, I am done. Even with this epic fail in mind, I hope you guys did still enjoy the video. I still did enjoy most of the food. That's going to do it for me guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you are new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. I love doing food challenges. I would very much appreciate it. Thank you. With that, this is Basket Locker Ball signing off. Peace.